In this video, I want to show you how to show the reaction conditions. Reaction conditions means that we have specified temperature or pressure or the type of catalyst we use in the chemical reaction. So if we have different temperature or pressure or if we don't use that catalyst or we don't use catalyst at all, we don't have enough yield or we're not going to have the reaction or the reaction rate is going to be much slower. How do we show these reaction conditions in the chemical equation? The equation for a chemical reaction doesn't provide enough information to enable you to carry out the reaction in a laboratory or a chemical plant. An important aspect of modern chemical research involves working out the conditions for a reaction. The reaction conditions are often written above or below the arrow in the equation. For example, the Greek capital letter delta means that a high temperature is required for the reaction, which is a reaction mixture must be heated as in the decomposition of silver oxide. So when we decompose it, the silver oxide compound is going to be decomposed to silver and oxygen. An even more explicit statement of reaction condition is shown below for the BASF process for the synthesis of methanol from carbon monoxide and hydrogen. This reaction occurs at 350 degrees Celsius under a total gas pressure that is 340 times as great as the normal pressure of the atmosphere. It means that we have 340 atm. And on the surface of the mixture of ZNO or zinc oxide and Cr2O3, chromium oxide, acting as a catalyst. You know, catalyst is a compound that doesn't involve in the reaction. It means it's not consuming or producing, but it increases the rate of reaction. We will see it later on. As we will learn later in this text, catalyst is a substance that enters into a reaction in such a way that it speeds off the, up the reaction without itself being consumed or changed by the reaction. So CO plus 2H2 gives methanol CH3OH and as you see here we have the temperature pressure and the type of catalyst in the chemical equation it is important to be able to calculate how much of the particular product will be produced when certain quantities of the reactants are consumed in the next section we will see how to use chemical equation to set up conversion factors that we can use for these and related calculations